So I'm going to show you a quick trip to really save you when you're throwing these Kitex on a jig head. And here it is right here. I add the wacky O-rings that you would put on a Senko. I put a couple right on the nose of that bait. I don't know how well you can see that. But there's two clear O-rings right there on the nose of that Kitex. This is a 3-3. Three, three. I've got the black O-rings here on this uh, 3.8 and you can see it sucks it down. It'll grab onto that jig head collar super tight and uh, the smallmouth can't throw it. I'll show you one here. It's actually been ripped up a little bit and the fish have torn it up pretty good but you've got those two O-rings that'll hold those hold that Kitek on there. Sometimes you can get as many as 20 fish. I used to have a pile of baits in the bottom of the boat and uh, go through five, six packs a day. Since I learned this trick, I don't do that anymore. So save me a lot of money and kept my bait in the water a lot longer, which is really important. Okay, we're all set to go here. Uh, you probably already have everything you need if you're a bass fisherman. So it's just a standard wacky tool. This is optional here that I have both black and clear rings. I use different colors on different colors of swim baits. So we're working with uh, Sexy Shad today. So I am going to use the clear here. I'll slide two of these up there, like just like these are just your standard wacky Senko sized rings. I do have smaller ones when I go to the smaller swim baits, like the 3.3 and the 2.8. But for this 3.8, the standard size works great. And you're right, we got two ready to go on there. So I'm just going to simply slide the nose of the Kitek in there to that first rib. I'll pop that over that first rib and line it up just like that. Nice and neat. Then I'm going to do the second rib. And that one actually doubled up on there, and that's just fine, but just sucks that plastic down and grabs that car, that jig head, and you're going to get a lot more fish and save you a lot of baits.